Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way to the top of Jade Tower, and we defeated Augur Jarn and his Mega Rayquaza. Today, we're going to continue from here in Helio City and see what else we can find and where we are headed. Now, Damien told us we need to make our way to Utira Town, so we're going to follow behind him, and hopefully, we're not too far behind. Let's go for a swim then. I've battled this trainer before when I was exploring around and it looks like the Sky Cultist is no longer in the way of this cave. So we made it to the Cave of Steam. I'm gonna have to use a repel before we step inside of here because I can already tell that it's gonna be tough to make our way through this whole place. Now let me see where my super repels are. I am stocked up. So we should be good to progress through this cave, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be very exciting to see what we can find in here. Let's jump into our first battle of today. It looks like there's some lava over there and that we're gonna have to surf through here. So it's in interesting because it's gonna be a bit different than some of the caves we've already gone through. Let's go for the flame burst then and see what we can do to the Gigalith. I don't think we'll be doing that much, so I'm gonna switch out and let's bring Aqua out. Hope you guys are having a nice Thursday. Hope you guys are having a good time with the adventure. I've been having a lot of fun. I just wanna thank you guys for all the comments you have left me. It's been an absolute blast getting to read those comments and get to play through this adventure with you guys. Yesterday I had the chance to ask you what your favorite Mega Delta Pokemon is and you guys told me that it was Delta Charizard. A lot of you told me that and I'd have to tell you that for now I think that would be mine but I know that there are many more in this game so there are a bunch of Mega Delta Pokemon. We took down the first trainer and let's keep on moving through this route. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of surfing through here and I wonder where this is going to lead us. There's a little TM up there. I definitely will find a way to get there. Nope, you need rock climb. You guys have told me too that we can't even get rock climb till the post game. So these are just little places that you gotta keep in mind for now. Magnezone. Okay, I'm gonna go for that incinerate. And it almost took it down. One more should just about do it. Now I haven't trained up our Pokemon much more or at all for that matter. Since we took down Augur Jarn, so we're just gonna be doing what we do with the levels we have. Let's keep pushing through. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a swim down here though. There's got nothing? Why the heck do you place this water source here? I guess if you need a little bit of water because you're starting to get thirsty inside of this volcano looking place, you're gonna have to take a sip out of it somewhere. Let's jump into our next battle. A Hitmon Lee is going to be coming out. I've been feeling pretty good with Strike up in front. Strike's been doing pretty good for us, so I believe that we'll be able to push through this with Strike at the forefront of our team. Let's just hang in there a little bit, and there we go. Hitmon Lee has gone down. Next up is gonna be a Hitmon Top. Why did I know it was gonna be a Hitmon Top? I had a feeling about that. Let's bring out Sandy out here. For right now, Sandy's a little bit back in levels. I'm thinking of putting the XP share on Sandy. I'll see if we do that. Right now, Mifa is gaining a good bit of levels, so I want to make sure we don't take that away from Mifa, since Mifa has been pretty helpful. Him on top has gone down, and we're doing pretty good here on this route. Will we be able to catch up to our friend Damien today? That is for us to find out. More lava, more trainers. Okay, okay. I'll battle you before we cross this place. I'm sure we'll be able to jump into something and see what he's got for us. All right, Rich Boy James is gonna send out a Roserade. I've been doing a pretty good job of keeping Strike out so far. I'm surprised too. I just brought Strike out because we haven't had Strike following us around for a while. Hang in there a little bit longer. Let's go for that Flame Burst, ladies and gentlemen. And there it goes. Roserade has gone down. Mantine. Okay, okay. You guys can really see that we're gonna have to work a little bit harder now because the Pokemon that we're going up against, the teams that we're going up against, have a little more, more variety to them, which is also cool. The more variety, the better it will be to take on these trainers because we'll be able to switch out our Pokemon and have some more exciting battles. And there we go. Now let me make my way into the water then and see where this is going to lead us. There is a ladder out. This is where the rock climb is used. I wish I had it. I wonder what TM that is. I couldn't tell you guys as of now. I'm just guessing like you are as we run through here. There's one more trainer, but we've also made it to the exit of the cave. So we are flying through it today on this Thursday. I haven't been doing a whole lot on this Thursday. I actually just woke up. I hung out with Spot, watched some TV here and there, caught up on some of my YouTube videos, and then I took a nap. 
that's the nice thing of getting to work from home. I have to tell you that sometimes you can just take a nap when you want and it's very, very comfortable. Something about taking a nap in the afternoon that just leaves you very refreshed and it's a good thing, you know, it's a good thing. You need it once in a while. I know, especially I do. On those nights where I end up staying up really, really late, for example, watching TV or binge watching a show or playing some games, I do that once in a while in prison. We are not going to learn that in prison. I like the moves we have right now. So let's keep on going. I didn't stay up too late last night, but I still wasn't able to sleep that good. You ever have those nights where you're just tossing and turning? That happens to me once in a while, and that was one of them. So I really was burnt out. I had to take a little nap this afternoon. Let's switch out to Sandy and see what Sandy can do to the mine. And it should be a pretty easy takedown here for us. Maybe Sandy will even gain a level. You never know how things could go. I really like Sandy's registration. That has to be one of the coolest abilities. I really like that. So there we go. Sandy took down the Pokemon. Now, I wonder if you'll be able to surf on this lava ever. There's some crazy HM things, so I wouldn't even doubt it. We made it to Utira Town. We no longer need a repel. And let's see if we can find where our boy Damien is. Damien! Damien, where are you, dude? It's a statue of a Pokeball. The text reads, This statue is dedicated to King Vesrin, who is credited with inventing an ancient version of the Pokeball hundreds of years ago. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Imagine being so smart that before Pokeballs were even a thing, you created one. That's pretty nutty. What's going on with these trainers? Oh, okay. They're definitely blocking our path, so that is not where we are supposed to go. I need to find where Damien is then, and I'm sure that crazy guy is going to be here somewhere. Hey, what's up? Take care of the small berry bush in Utira Town. So there are berries in Utira Town. That's pretty good to know. We just got ourselves a person berry. If you, oh, I do see that gravestone looking thing though. And I do want to read that. The markings on the stone detail the life of Satoru Iwata. It wishes him a sweet and peaceful rest. Rest in peace, Satoru Iwata. Definitely. Uh, he was a very big person in Nintendo. And I really hope that life is better for you, my man. What do we got over here? Talk to everyone. Look at that! That's literally the tip that I've been giving you guys all the time. Talk to everyone. There's finally a sign that's agreeing with me. I'm gonna go up this way. We made it to the Pokemon Center, so I better step inside and say, Hey! Nurse Joy, I gotta tell you, and you know what? It's a beautiful day, and after going through that cave, you're like a sigh of relief, you know? You're like a breeze in the wind. You're like a ray of sunshine when you come out of that darkness. And we hope we get to see you again, Nurse Joy. Keep up the great work. Keep up the great work in the Pokemon Center. Let's see what we got here in Utira Town. Damien, where are you at, my man? Is he hiding in here somewhere? Let's see. I'm going to talk to some of the Pokemon here. Oh, there we go. TM90 substitute. That's why you're supposed to talk to everyone. I knew it. I knew there was something. There's a book in the library called The Fighting Compendium that could help. If you can get it for me, there will definitely be a reward in it for you. That's very interesting. I wonder what the reward could be. That is for us to find out if we ever make our way to the library. So there is another cave here. Let's step inside then. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, Rodri. I'm so glad you made it. Welcome to Utira Town. It's a beautiful place. Nora, Rodri's finally here. Rodri, am I glad to see you? Look, it's Nora, Nora, Nora. We haven't seen her in a while. What have you been up to? I heard about what happened at the J Tower. That's horrific. It's hard to believe that the Og was really the leader of Skycore all along. If anything, though, that just makes what we're doing here even more important. Remember a while ago when we first met? I told you about some ancient prophecy about the Pixies. This right here is the Utira Library. It has the biggest collection of books in the region. I figured that if anyone in place could have any information on, well, you'd have that prophecy, it would be here. Damien and I are skimming through the shelves trying to find information. I'd appreciate it if you could help us out. But first, you and I are... Hey, wait! You said I could go first! Damien and I both have Mega Rings and Mega Evolutions on our teams now. I want to test my team against yours. So does Damien, though. And we shouldn't waste too much time. Aren't you pick? We're rivals after all, so we should try to keep each other on our toes. Who do you want to battle? So we're getting a choice of which rival we are going to get to battle. We recently fought Damien, so I am going to go with Nora. Oh, told you he'd rather battle me. Let's get started then. You're going to see the true power of Mega Evolution. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus 
our rival Nora. So let's jump into it. Nora has five Pokemon, and as you guys just heard, Nora also has a Mega Evolution. I'm going to go for the Incinerate on the Dewblade, and that is going to take it down. I did not expect it to stand up to us. So let's see what's going to be coming out next. Here comes the Celebi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling okay. I'm going to go for the Flame Burst and hope that we can tank it out. Celebi is level 49, so we're not completely out-leveled at the moment. We're still pretty decent. This is going to be a little bit tougher because I'm not sure if I will be able to land it first. Looks like I didn't. Strike is down. There we go. The Strikester has gone down. It's okay, though. I'm going to switch out to Slasher. And let's see what Slasher can do here. You guys know we already have the Icicle Crash. We have some pretty good moves. And we missed. Cool. It looks like Celebi also missed as well. What is up with our Icicle Crash not landing, though, ladies and gentlemen? There we go. It has finally landed. And Celebi has gone down. So let's see who Nora is going to send out next. Slasher grew to level 46, which is pretty good. Here comes the Flygon. If I can go first, I should be able to KO this Pokemon. Oh, boy. Here we go. Flygon is reacting. Here we have it. This is going to be Nora's Mega Evolution. That looks amazing. Oh, no. Flygon has took us down. Nora has a Mega Flygon. That's a pretty big surprise. That's a really strong Pokemon. Let's send out Mipha out here and see what Mipha can do against the Mega Flygon. I do have Ice Beam. We just got to hang in here with the Bug Buzz and hope that it doesn't absolutely KO us to the ground. But that is for us to find out. Flygon is down to half of its health. I wish I was a little bit faster. Just a tad bit faster, and I think Mipha would be able to take down this Pokemon. I'm going to use our Hyper Potion on Mipha regardless, just to see what else is going to be coming out. There's the Hyper Beam. We have tanked it out, ladies and gentlemen, which is pretty good. Flygon needs to recharge, so I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, and there we go. Flygon is down. The level 50 Mega is out of here. So that's what I'm talking about. Keep it up, Mipha. You're doing a great job of taking down the Dragons for us. Next is going to be a flow at Who should I bring out? Who should I bring out? Let's bring out Daruk out here and let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. Daruk's been doing a pretty good job and we haven't gone for our crazy mega evolution yet. So that is something that we could do as well. I'm going to go for our mega evolution and let's do it against the flow at Let's start packing some punches with those shadow balls. Here is one of the coolest mega delta Pokemon. You guys have seen, and I'd have to agree with you, so let's go for that Shadow Ball. See how much we're going to do to the Float at. It is down to about half. Here comes the Fairy Attack, though. We did tank it. I'm happy about that. I am happy about that. The sky is dark, so we're going to go for one more Shadow Ball, and that's going to be it for the Float at. Sometimes you got to stay on the offensive. The best offense is a good defense, but sometimes the best defense is a good offense, if you know what I mean. Let's go for another Shadow Ball. Levaney's going to be going for a Swords Dance. Levaney, why are you powering up against a Mega? We're just going to straight up just punish you for that. I'm going for one more. Oh, no. Here comes the Excisor. That's going to do a good bit. It isn't very effective, but because it's powered up, it's going to do a good bit of damage. And it's time for us to switch things up again. I'm going to send out Mipha. Let's see if Mipha is going to be faster than the Levaney. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Here comes the Leaf Blade. Let's tank it out, Mipha. That is it. Mifa is down. Check out Nora putting up a heck of a fight. Let's send out... Let's send out Sandy. You guys know that Sandy might take some damage here, but if I land this Sandstorm, we could possibly take it down just from the damage the Sandstorm does. Nope. Super effective. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be a partay because... Levaney is going to be able to be super effective. Oh, I'm risking it. Here comes the Leaf Blade. Oh, no! You got to be kidding me! It actually took me down. No way! I took down Nora's Pokemon the same exact way. Here comes the Levaney, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. I have me fouled this time around. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. If I would have known the Levaney was going to be this strong, I would have used the Revive. And that's how things are going to turn out. 
as you can see this time around it was a bit easier i'm gonna send out slasher and let's go ahead and do this thing okay okay i'm gonna go for the icicle crash regardless and levaney is so close to going down one more should just about do it ladies and gentlemen and there we have it levaney has gone down you know what nora that was surprising that was surprising you pulled a fast one on me we defeated our rival nora how are you always beating me <laughs> yeah yeah we got 3200 for winning oh for john's sake i can't believe i lost again how do you keep beating me? Anyways, Damien and I are gonna head back in to keep searching. If you could help out, we would really appreciate it. Let us know if you find anything interesting. She comes across very strong, doesn't she? She's not even doing any work. She's left it all to me. While I've been searching, she's been sitting around reading books on ancient Unov and languages of all things. I should probably go back in. If you could help out, we'd appreciate it. Oh, I nearly forgot. I found this on my coat after I got kidnapped back in Vipic City. It's just a hair, but I think it's from one of the Abyssal Cultists. I'm not sure if it'll be useful to you, but Mew needs DNA to transform, right? There we go! We got the DNA of the Abyssal Cultist. Hopefully that'll help you out sometime in the future. Anyways, come and give us a hand! I'm gonna heal up our Pokémon then, and we'll be ready to help out Damien. Let's go inside of the library and help out Damien and Nora. We've made it to the Utira Library. Uh-oh, this place is kinda creepy. Something about this librarian is creeping me out. There is always something creepy about these libraries. Okay, so there are gonna be some people in here. It looks like they are just reading up on their favorite Pokemon subjects, which is pretty cool. You can read up, you can study the Pokemon world. That's a great way to do it. I definitely would. Whoa, this guy can teach you moves? What in the heck? That's pretty cool. That's something that I'll have to keep in mind. You guys saw the moves. If any of those moves resonate with you and you'd like to see them on our team, by all means. What are these weird paintings on the wall? This library is kind of creepy. Hello, guys. I'm looking for Damien. You know, Damien and Nora. They, they have some legendary Pokemon with them. Anybody know where they are? Okay, let's go around. At least there aren't many trainers here. I thought there might be, but it looks like we're just going to keep making our way to the top. Hey, what's up? What are you guys reading up here? Upper floor is bizarre, but the books are just so darn interesting. What kind of books are there? Dubbed anime and why it isn't as bad as you might think? Oh, well, that's pretty funny. I have to tell you guys. I like dubbed anime. I watch both dubbed and sub. It just depends. Sometimes if you want to watch the shows that just came out, we got TM62 New Moon. It's cool to watch it sub because you can watch it immediately in Italy. But then, you know, if you really want to just sit back and play some games while you watch a show, I think dubbed is definitely the way to go. Not much here then. At least we found ourselves a TM. TMs definitely come in handy. Let's go to the other side of the library then and see if our friends are going to be there. Hello, Nora, Damien. What is this? Why can't I pick that up? It looks like an item. It definitely looks like an item. Oh, it's just a book. I guess they just have a bunch of books laying around. Where's the librarian? Should someone pick these books up? Books are expensive. Yo, books are for real expensive. Mm, nothing here. Nothing too crazy here, ladies and gentlemen. So let's keep going to the right. Is this a Professor Oak statue? What the heck is that doing here? I guess that I, I can't go through there. There we go. It was an abandoned wing. That's why we couldn't go through the door all the way to the right side. An abandoned wing? Now he's fine, Rodri. This might just be where the prophecy is stored. I agree. Nobody knows the prophecy except for the coal eaters. It would have to be hidden somewhere. Most people wouldn't look. Oh! Are you three going into the abandoned wing? May I ask what about it interests you? Oh, we were going to look for a very old book, sir. We're trainers, you see. We're trying to take down the Colts, and we figured that that one prophecy about them might be back here. I see. You'd be surprised at how many people have looked for that prophecy. Taurus, I'll let you in if you want. There's no prophecy back there, but there's that one glowing orb. An orb? What do you mean? That's right. It's been there since this library was built. 
It's only one of many different odds and ends lying around in the wing. For whatever reason, people believe it has something to do with the prophecy, so they'll try to get it to react to them. I've already seen hundreds of people leave disappointed. Do you really want to waste your time? Well, we may as well try, right? Damien, for once in your life, you're right! <laughs> Let us in, please! I promise we'll be quick! Fine, but we really will need to be fast. I have a lot of things to do today. All right, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is in the far end of the abandoned wing. I'll take you to go see it. Be careful though, there are both wild Pokemon and possibly even trainers back here. There we go, he opened the abandoned wing for us. Let's go find out what the future holds. Let's go find out indeed. We've made it to the abandoned wing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This definitely feels a lot creepier. We shouldn't be back here. And there we go! That is gonna be our battle here in the library. I know there were some people out here trying to battle. I knew it! I just knew it. I'm gonna send out Aqua, and this is what I'm talking about now, that we're in the creepy side of the library. If you guys ever watch Harry Potter, they have the restricted section of the library. I feel like that's what we're in. We're in the restricted section right now, so we gotta do everything that we can to get through this place. The lamp pit has gone down. Let's see who's gonna be coming out next. That's a good amount of XP. A spirit tomb. Very interesting. The Aqua Tails attack missed. We gotta hang in there. We gotta do some damage against the spirit tomb. The sucker punch. Come on, man. And there we go. The curse has took Aqua down. Spirit tomb is out here. I'm gonna bring out Slasher. Let's see what Slasher can do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling pretty good with the Slasher up in front. I was not even trying to click that. I was trying to go down to our Night Slash. And there we go. We now have a Dark type move, if you guys remember. Which is going to be very, very helpful. Slasher is going to be taking down a bunch of Pokemon for us. And that will actually be a good reason for us to have Slasher around us here. Let's see what kind of Pokemon are in this place. Dusclop. So, Ghost-type Pokemon. If you guys are looking for ghosts... Come into the spooky library. There's bound to be some ghosts in here. Definitely. There's ghosts all over this place. There's always going to be ghosts in creepy places. That's just how it is. Creepy abandoned houses. Creepy libraries. Let's jump into the next battle then. Let's see what he's got for us. He's only got one Pokemon. And it's going to be a Gangaroonie. I'll be good against the Gengar. Let's go for that Incinerate. I'm not too worried about this guy. The Shadow Ball though. There it is. There it is. Let's bring out Slasher. Gengar is only level 48, so as of right now, our Night Slash should be pretty good against these Pokemon. Let's see how much we do. There you go. I knew it. Gengar is going to be going down. And we go a little bit further into the restricted section. Hello, Damien. Nora. They're just letting us battle these trainers. They don't even care about us. They went ahead. How come they don't have to battle these trainers? That's why I have a belief that we got to be the chosen ones. Because we're the ones that are out here battling all these trainers and going through all this craziness. They're just running through it, right? We're the ones actually having to go through all this darkness. They haven't seen any of the craziness. That Dusclops just took a big chunk of damage. And I am loving having this Night Slash on Slasher. Slasher has been a great addition to our team. I can't tell you guys how happy I am to have this Pokemon here. And I am super excited to evolve it. Which I'll be getting around to doing very soon. I'm gonna have to trade it. So hopefully I can trade it with some of you guys that play through Pokemon Insurgents. I'll probably be hitting up someone on the Discord. Uh, on my Discord and being like, hey, you know, you want to trade? I, I need it for the series. I'll be doing that one of these days. Because I know you guys are excited to see a Delta Scissor on our team. And I definitely am too. Okay. There's no one here. No librarians. Let's move on to the third area of the restricted section. I wonder what kind of creepy books used to be here. There's still some books, but you can't read them whatsoever. Hey guys, how's it going? Let's talk to them. Are we all here? You see that glow over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly has to do with the prophecy. Seems like a load of rubbish in my opinion. I doubt there even was a prophecy. It's probably just a legend. But anyways, go ahead. Get this over with. That flame is calling out to us. Who dare 
Let's wake me. What was that? What's happening? This has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. Who do we have here? House guest? If you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right. I'm the one who wrote it. Long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell ya. I was the prophet of Arceus and the Oracle of Delphox. I've been preaching since before Hoenn was created. If you want to know the secret of the future, you'll have to take it by force. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Ancient Oracle. Ancient Oracle has five Pokemon ready to battle. I got our Slasher up in front. I'm going to be going for that Night Slash. You guys already know what we're going to do with that Night Slash. Let's hold in there then. I think we will be okay. I'm going to go for just a regular Slash. It withdrew it, really. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going for the Night Slashes for now, and I'm gonna get as much damage as I can on the Oracle's Pokemon. As you guys can see, the Oracle is definitely trying. The Oracle wants us to put up a fight before we get anything out of this. So let's see who's gonna be coming out next. Delphox, ooh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. Let's keep Slasher out. I'm just gonna keep pumping out what I can with the Slasher for as long as we can. So I'm gonna go for the Night Slash. And let's hope that Slasher... Oh, boy, Slash! Couldn't hang in there on that one. All right. I'm gonna send out Sandy. Let's see what Sandy can do against the Delphox. I've had the chance to use a Delphox on my team before. They're pretty strong Pokemon. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for them. They can be very, very tough to go up against. I need to heal up too. I am not going to mess this up again. I'm actually going to use my revise and not take our trainers we're going up against for granted. Nora already took me down once today. I'm not trying to go down again. You know what I mean, guys? I'm not trying to go down again. All right. I'm going for the Sandstorm here, though, just because I want to throw it out there. We're going to make this Delphox take some damage regardless, and Sandy is down. It's okay, Sandy. You did what you could. Let's bring in Aqua then and see if Aqua will be able to take down the Delphox. That did not do anything. Are you serious right now? That did no damage. Okay, let's go. Oh, I wasn't even going for the Aqua Tail. That's a thing. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see which move you're choosing on here. Let's bring out the Rook. Regardless, the Rook should be able to take down everyone. I'm feeling good with the Rook. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball. And we're going to use our Delta Charizard Dite. So now, we should be super effective on all these Pokemon. If we can just hang in there. There we go. Delphox is down. And hopefully, I can just sweep through the rest of the Oracle's team here. Bayonet. I think if we get a hit off, we'll be okay. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. Oh, no. The Oracle has a Mega Pokemon as well. And it's a Mega Bayonet. Here comes the Shadow Ball, and I'm dead. That was a whole lot of fun there, my goodness. We are not having a good battle here today. This is not going to be a good fight for us. I need to revive some of our Pokemon here. Let's bring back the Slasher. Cool, cool, cool. We hung in there. And good thing I have these revives, or this would have been a much tougher battle than I realized. I'm going to bring the Rook, too. Okay, the Sucker Punch isn't doing anything. I'm gonna go for the Calm Mind. It looks like Bayonet is only going for the Sucker Punch, which I'm kind of digging. Yes! Okay, maybe I can power up enough to take down all of the Pokemon. And I think I might be able to. Bayonet is only going for the Sucker Punches. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. This is happening. All right, I'm going for the Thunder Shock then. Bayonet is going for the Embargo. And let's see how much damage we do. That is a lot of damage. And I like that. We are really powered up right now. Mifa is about to clutch this for us. Bayonet is down, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe we got all those coal mines off. That's pretty freaking crazy. We got so many coal mines. Oh, no! That was a crit? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is tough. Let's go for the Ice Beam onto the Clay Doll. The Clay Doll is down, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see 
what the final Pokemon is gonna be, and it is an Aegislash. Interesting. I'm still gonna go for the Thundershock. It protected itself. Interesting, Aegislash. I'm gonna go for the Thundershock one more time. Aegislash transformed into Sacred Sword. And that's okay, that's okay. Let's bring out the Rook here. And I am just gonna go for the Shadow Ball right away. Let's do a bunch of damage to this Aegislash. And it is down, ladies and gentlemen, so we did it! Check out Mifa clutching it for us. I told you guys, that Delta Gardevoir is gonna be super amazing. We got 5,100 for winning. <laughs> Not bad. All right, I'll spill the beans. This prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't know what the real prophecy says? That's right! I'm not gonna read you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy to misinterpret. And I don't want to be that oracle, you know? Hope you're ready. Ahem! <clears throat> the first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero, chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed. Undefeated and torn, they'll move on victorious. Can't be us, right? We've gotten beat a couple times. The last secret piece of information is that in the end, the hero will join the Infernal Cult and betray their friends. That's basic... Wait, what? One of us is gonna join the Infernal Cult? Yeah, what? You can't leave us with that. Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Well, you can't say he doesn't have flair for the dramatic. This reminds me what author L. Frank Baum did when introducing... Oh, shut up! How can you stay so calm? Wait, we're just told one of us is a traitor! This isn't the time to joke around! Well, he did say that you'll get rid of the cults, right? I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? You can use that to your advantage. But anyways, people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Let me know if you need any more help with... Well, with whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes. Nora, listen, don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic. Damien, we just got told that we're gonna lose. People are gonna die. Worrying about this isn't gonna help. We need to work together. If we're gonna let this make us turn on each other, we might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien? You know, if I were an infernal cultist in disguise, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about that, would ya? Not, mister. I ran my mouth in front of cultists and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. Nora, please stop. You know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. I, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you in Sonata City, Rodri. There's a gym there. It will need its badge in order to dive. Why did I say all of that? I don't know what came over me. I feel awful. I'm gonna go apologize. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up! That didn't seem like Nora there for a second. It definitely seemed like someone else took over. And I gotta tell you, that is something that we could definitely expect here in a creepy library like that. They gave us an escape rope for absolutely no reason because we can't use it to get out of here. We just gotta run our way out of this creepy library. And I don't want to be here any longer than we have to, ladies and gentlemen. We've been through a lot here in this place. And as you guys heard, the true prophecy, the true prophecy clearly states that one of us is going to join the Infernal Cultist and betray the others. Right now, I don't know which one of us it's going to be. So that is going to be for us to find out, ladies and gentlemen, as we progress through this story. Will it be Damien? Will it be Nora? Or will it be us? I am not sure, and that's for us to figure out. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be continuing from here in Utira Town and following after Damien. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this series, hit that like button as it really does help. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Goodbye.